HIMS 2019 right here from Orlando, Florida, as this is Commonwealth TV. Scott Adams here with you as we're introducing you to some of our Commonwealth Health Alliance members. Time now to hear from Life Image and their Chief Technology Officer, Jonik Joshi. And Jonik, why is interoperability so important to Life Image and how does that drive your involvement with Commonwealth? So, when you think about interoperability, there are a lot of uh, vendors in the show floor that are actually talking about communicating with each other. But each one of these vendors is only able to communicate their particular piece, which is either labs or either meds or either a CCD or CDA document, et cetera. But there are very few vendors who are able to essentially interoperate across the entire care continuum, which is can you interoperate with patient experience data, with imaging data, with genetics data, with uh, unstructured data sets, with medications, with labs, and the overall patient experience. Until we have that, there is no true interop that is able to fuel the healthcare in a way that we are truly influencing outcomes. So that being said, maybe you know, putting that into action, uh, perhaps a highlight uh, amongst the membership with Life Image and Commonwealth that you've seen firsthand that has, has, has paid dividends and, and really has made a, an impact. Sure, so there are a couple of things with Commonwealth. So Commonwealth is one of the first kind of uh, network play uh, that is able to influence exchanging of information across all facets of healthcare at the end of the day. Now, when you think about just interoperating with medications or labs or allergies or images, from a physician's perspective and from a patient's perspective, it's not that useful unless you're able to connect the dots and quote unquote tokenize these different pieces of healthcare information amongst each other. So the minute you know which x-ray or which CT scan belongs to which patient who's on which med, with what genetic biomarker, with what family history, and with what referral network he or she is associated with, now suddenly you have the whole picture for the patient. And that connectivity has been where we are influencing the most with Commonwealth. So it's one thing to say that we are able to exchange information from point A to point B. It's another thing to say that we are exchanging information from point A to point B because. So it's the causation and correlation associated with the context that becomes the next generation of interop. Yeah, and that said, changes, advancement, it, it exactly. does. It's from one year exactly. to the next. So that being said, life image and how they fit into that scope of advancement as we move forward. So I talked a little bit about causal inferences and correlations, and that is where the action is, because unless we understand the context behind exactly why interop becomes important, um, either in a therapeutic area, or either in a care setting, or either for clinical trials, um, where life image plays a big role now, we are not going to be able to influence exactly how to navigate and guide the industry that is bringing solutions in AI and machine learning um, to bear. Now, AI and machine learning becomes important part of the interop equation because fundamentally AI and machine learning algorithms are point solutions. They give you a score, they give you a risk management, they give you a decision support, et cetera. But how do these fit in across the different clinical workflows using multitude and varied information across all the different assets that we interoperate with is where it, AI truly uh, begins to shine. So our ability to kind of distribute, interoperate, and provide access to all the clinical endpoints for AI companies, for pharma companies, uh, for medical research, and ultimately for care delivery is where the biggest action is. There's been a lot of advancements. There's been hurdles, there's been successes the past six years right. in terms of the Commonwealth Alliance and, and their membership, and that continues to grow. And so, life image, as we continue to, to advance and move forward, what is that stamp that, that you guys really want to, to go ahead and, and advance on to, but at the same time, also continue that, that massive exposure of the Commonwealth community onto uh, other membership and, and then their providers and, and down the road. So I'll be honest, Scott. Commonwealth is currently a US operation. Life Image is a global operation. I'd love to take Commonwealth to Middle East, to Africa, to Southeast Asia, and to Europe. And very honestly and frankly, it is in the best interest of Commonwealth to establish a best practice here in the US, get a blueprint working for the rest of the world to see what we've actually done in this country to prove how healthcare should operate and how interoperability should actually influence outcomes and quality.
one of those Alliance members that have been through many hours and yep. you know a lot of hard work over the past six years as Life Image. And for more on them, we invite you to log on to CommonwealthAlliance.org. Thanks so much. Thank you.